for being here this morning. Welcome and take a comfortable seat. We're going to start with a few minutes of centering and breath work before we warm up. So feel your spine lengthen upward and let your shoulders glide down your back. And let your palms rest in the lap wherever is comfortable and close your eyes. Just give your body a few moments to arrive in this shape. If you need to adjust anything, go ahead. Feel your center of gravity shift. If you notice that you're leaning more forward or backward or to one side than the other. And try and visualize the curvatures in your spine. And feel all of those curvatures present here in this posture. Slight concave curvature of the low back, slight convex in the upper back, and concave again in the neck. I just really like this beautiful wave that goes all the way from the crown of the head to the base of the tailbone. Try and feel yourself really root down through your hips into your seat. Creating a firm connection to the floor. And let your legs just relax into their shape. So if you notice any gripping in the thighs or the hips, see if you can let that go. Start to feel a more upward energy from the low back, up the spine, and out the crown of the head. And if you notice any tension or holding in the shoulders, just try and let that melt down away from the ears. Now that the spine is aligned and the posture is open, shift your attention to the movement of your breath. And just notice what moves in your body when you breathe. Where do you expand? Where do you contract? Allow yourself to expand broadly without any resistance every time you breathe in. And contract gradually, steadily releasing the breath every time you breathe out. And if you find that your mind goes elsewhere, you can just simply repeat inhale, exhale in your own mind with your breath.
And the next time that you inhale, you can close the eyes open. Bring your arms back and squeeze the shoulder blades together, lifting the ribcage. And then slide the hands forward toward the knees, round your back, tucking the chin to the chest. Seated spinal waves. Inhale, arch the spine, squeezing the shoulders back. Exhale, round the spine, separating the shoulder blades. Just go back and forth at your own pace. And try and get your pelvis involved too. Let it tilt forward and backward with this motion. And your head and neck can be involved as much as you like when you arch, you can look up. If that doesn't feel good though, you can keep the neck in a more neutral position when you arch. Let's take one more for each direction. And then find a neutral posture again. Let's raise the arms up and inhale. Exhale, the left hand down, side bend, leaning over, bend deeply into that elbow, reaching the right arm over the face. And root down through the right hip, keeping yourself connected to the ground. The next time you breathe in, push off the bottom hand, reach up again, and exhale the right hand down, deep side bend, over. Good. Push off the bottom hand. Inhale. Reach up again through both arms. Exhale. Release and wrap your arms behind the back, clasping your fingers together. Roll the shoulders back and open the chest, extending the arms behind you. And if it's comfortable, lift the arms up away from your hips. Opening across the collarbones and breathing into that space. Good. Exhale and let it go. Okay, let's come into table pose. If you're sitting on a blanket or support, you can put that aside. And from this table, we're going to come into a balance. Extend your right leg behind you and your left arm in front of you, finding one long line. Actively reach the limbs as far apart as you can. Good. Put the hand down. Bring the, left, the right knee all the way up into your chest and then step that foot in between the hands. Low lunge. Slide your left knee a little farther back and sink down into your hips. You can point those toes and rise up to crescent lunge. Glide the arm bones back as you lift up through the ribcage. The next time you exhale, put the left hand down, spinal twist, rotate from the waist. And then let's wrap the right arm behind the back, half bind. Glide that shoulder blade back as you turn the chest up toward the ceiling. Good, reach up with the right arm again and take the hand to the floor. Let's twist to the other side, rotate and weight, raise your left arm up. Try and keep the front knee connected to the bicep. One more breath in, and exhale, release. Good, let's lift the back knee off of the mat, moving to a high lunge. Hop that foot a few inches closer to the front, and then press back into pyramid pose, trying to straighten your right leg as you fold forward and nose to the knee. We're just warming up, so if the leg doesn't extend all the way, that's okay. Just trying to lengthen the hamstrings. Good. 
Good, look forward. Now step the left foot all the way to the front of the mat. Hang over the legs in your forward fold. You can hold on to your elbows if you like, letting your shoulders and neck release. Good, exhale, place the hands down on the mat and rock to plank pose. Feet and legs together, shoulders over the palms, hold for five deep breaths. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the arms. Second round. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. So really press back, ground every knuckle into the floor. On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Once more through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank. Deep breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Release your neck and find one focal point. On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Good, bring the feet together and we'll come into chair pose. Bend the knees, sit back as you lengthen the arms and spine. Now hold here a few breaths. You can lift your chest more. One more breath in. Exhale, dive to your fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees and lunge your right leg all the way back. High lunge. Now we're going to keep the back heel up. Inhale, rise up to a high crescent lunge. Deep bend in the front knee. Keep lifting the back knee nice and straight. Good, bring the hands together in front of the heart. We're going to take a twist. Turn to the left. Cross your right elbow to the outer left thigh. And press down against your bottom hand to help deepen that rotation. Good, steady breath. Keep lifting that back knee strong through the straight leg. Look down at your mat, release your palms to the floor. Good, from here, step to plank. Take a deep breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Maybe pedal the legs a little bit here, rocking side to side in the hips. And then look forward, inhale, exhale, feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. We're going to come into chair from here, so feet together, bend the knees and sit way back. Inhale, extend the upper body, reaching up nice and long through the spine. One more breath in. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, lunge your left foot all the way back. High lunge. Good. From here, rise up, finding balance. High crescent lunge. Steady, slow breath. Bring the hands together in front of the heart and then twist to the right. 
Cross your right elbow to the outside, or excuse me, left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, and push down against the bottom hand. Bring that twist into the upper back. So really fire up the front of your back thigh, lift through the knee. Beautiful, everybody. Look down, place the palms on the mat, and step to plank. Deep breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let go through the neck. Take five breaths here. From this down dog, walk your hands back to your feet. So take several steps to get at the back of your mat, hanging over the legs in a forward fold. Bend the knees slightly like you're about to sit back to chair pose and slowly roll up through your spine, letting your arms hang down, ragdoll, all the way up to stand. So roll the shoulders a few times. Good. If you use blocks for half moon pose, you might want to bring those onto your mat. We're going to take a little step forward with the right foot and bring your left hand to the waist. Bend your right knee and lean down in a straight spine, taking your right hand to the floor or block a little bit outside of the foot. And then press into your right foot to straighten that leg, lifting your left leg up and back. And slowly roll the pelvis open to the side. Left hip joint rolls back. Then roll your abdomen open, the rib cage and the chest. And then float the left arm up if you can. And keep breathing here. And then totally optional, if you want to try a quad stretch, bend your left knee, reach your left hand back, and see if you can take the top of the foot or the front of the ankle, hugging that heel close to your hip. Good. If you took that, let's gradually release, re-extending the leg to half moon. And then we'll all look down, start to take out the rotation and step your left foot down to meet the right, hanging over the legs in a forward bend. Bend the knees a little, sitting back like chair, and then roll up slowly through the spine through ragdoll. Good. Once you're standing again, just roll the shoulders a few times. And we'll take that for the other side. Take a little step forward with your left foot. Right hand can come to the waist. Bend your left knee and lean forward, straight spine, and take the left hand on the floor or use your lock. Press against your left foot, straighten the leg, and lift your back leg up. Good, so take your time. Once you find stability, then work on rolling open through the hip, through the upper body. Right arm floating up is your last step. Good, make sure you're breathing. And totally optional, quad stretch. Bend your right knee, reach back for the top of the foot or the ankle. If you have that, re-extend the leg, and then we'll all take out the opening, put the hand down, and step the right foot down to meet the left. Fold over the legs. Should be toward the front of your mat now. Bend your knees and put your palms on the mat, and walk back to down dog from here. If you weren't all the way to the front, just adjust your hands. Good, really lengthen back, 
Now that we've stretched the hamstrings a bit more, see how it feels to try and reach your heels closer to the floor. Extending the back of the legs, maybe a bit more. Good, from here, raise your right leg up into the air. Look forward on an exhalation, sweep that foot all the way up in between the hands. Ground your back heel to the mat and come up to warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back, nice and open across the chest. The next time you inhale, straighten your right leg, reach your arms over your head and press the palms together. And then exhale, open again to warrior two, bending the right knee. Again, inhale, straighten the leg, reaching up. Exhale, warrior two. Once more, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the knee. Good, lean forward, reach as far forward as you can. Put the right hand down on the floor or block. Sweep your left arm over your face, extended side angle pose. You also have the option to put the right forearm on the thigh, so you can do that if bringing the hand down is too intense in the hip. And a few more breaths here. And look down, release your left hand to the floor. Lift your back heel up, should be in a lunge. From here, step to plank. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, raise your left leg up, look forward. Exhale, sweep that foot all the way up in between the hands. Good, back heel down, come up to warrior two. Good, take your time, adjust your feet if you need to. Good, actively reach the arms apart. And then inhale, straighten the front leg, join the palms overhead, looking up. Exhale, return to warrior two. Inhale, gather that energy, reach up, straightening the right, the left leg. And exhale, warrior two. Once more, inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Lean forward, reaching, and then put the left hand down. Sweep the right arm over your face for extended side angle pose. Good, feel free to use that block or to put the forearm up on the thigh. One more breath in, exhale, right hand to the mat. Lift your back heel and step to plank. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, over or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five deep breaths. And after your last breath out, lower the knees and take child's pose. A few moments just to rest here, close your eyes, feel your shoulders and arms relax. Bring your focus back to the breath if it was elsewhere. Good. From here, we're going to come back up into table, and next we're going to work on side plank. So if you want to do a variation of this pose, you can either from table straighten the right leg back and do our knee down variation, 
or from plank, you can step the top foot over the leg. All right, so we're gonna do the left side first. We're gonna step the legs back into plank unless you're doing knee down. Bring your left hand in a little closer to the right and then come to the outer edge of the left foot and then slowly open the body as you raise the right arm. Good, feel that left shoulder blade really root in toward the spine. Squeeze through the waist to help elevate the hips. One more breath in and exhale, right hand down, come to the balls of the feet and separate the hands. Other side, right hand comes in a little bit closer, come to the outer edge of the right foot, slowly open the body to the side, eventually raising your left arm. Good, root that right shoulder blade in toward the spine. One more breath in and exhale, release, separate the hands and lift back to downward facing dog. Good, bring your knees to the mat in table pose. Flip your hands so the back of your palm is on the mat, front of your palm faces up toward you and slowly sit back toward the heels to stretch the front of the wrists. Good, lift the hips off of the heels and we're gonna bring the forearms down to the mat working on dolphin pose. So before we lift up, cross your forearms and hold the outside of your elbows and then clasp your fingers together, tuck your bottom pinky finger in so you have a flat surface and press the fist into the mat. Glide your shoulder blades back away from your neck and then tuck the toes, lifting up and back to dolphin pose. Good. So we're going to hold here. If you notice that you're losing support in the shoulders or you've got a lot of tension building up in the neck, just give yourself a moment to rest. You can put the knees down and return to the pose whenever you feel ready. Few more breaths, you're still here. And on an exhalation, bring the knees to the floor. Good, bring the knees together. We're gonna sit back in child's pose this time with the arms wrapping around the legs. And feel your shoulder blades melt apart, sinking down toward the floor. Just letting go of all that intense energy from the upper back. Take at least five breaths here. Good. We're going to come into that one more time via forearm plank. So we're going to take the same setup with the forearms and elbows on the mat. Clasp your fingers and take the bottom pinky finger into the palm. And then step the legs back, keeping the hips in line with the shoulders here first for forearm plank. Engage your core and squeeze the legs together. Really press the fists and the elbows against the mat. Good, and start to lift your hips, 
Walk your feet closer to your elbows as you press your chest toward the floor. Dolphin pose. Once you've arrived, let your neck release. And we'll try and hold 10 breaths. But again, you can put the knees down if you need to rest. Three more. With your last breath out, lower the knees, take child's pose. Again, with the arms wrapped around the legs. Good. Let your shoulders melt apart. Release through the neck and the upper back. And start to slow down your breath. From here, help yourself lift up. We're going to sit back on the heels for a moment. Find a tall position in the spine and just roll the shoulders a few times. Change direction. Good. And then reach your arms behind your back again. Interlace the fingers. Roll your shoulders and elbows back and gently extend the arms behind you, opening the chest. Lift them up away from your hips if you can. One more breath in. And exhale, release. Good. Come forward into table pose. We're going to take threading the needle. Raise your left arm up and open that side, and then sweep it underneath you, coming down to the shoulder and the side of your head. Good. Use your right hand to push the ground and lean back more on your left shoulder. Feel it spread away from the spine. And if you like, raise your right arm up and let it fall back, or even take a half bind if that feels good. Good, deep, low breath. Good, if you have the half spine, let's release the arm and reach up. And then put the hand down. We'll all push down against the mat, coming off of the left shoulder. You can reach up to the left again to counter. And then put the hand down. Other side. Raise your right arm up. And then sweep it under you. Come down to the outside of the shoulder and the side of your head. Then move your left hand over a little. Push the ground and lean back, creating that deep twist. And then if you like, raise the left arm up, let it fall back in space to open the chest, or wrap it around your back for the half line. And if you're in that half bind, re-extend the arm, and then we'll put it down on the floor. We'll push off of the left hand, reach up to the right again, and let it go. Good. Let's come just to half down dog. Extend the arms forward. Keep your knees on the mat and press your chest toward the ground. Deep extension of the shoulders and the upper back. Take three more breaths here. And then lift your 
yourself up. Let's have a seat from here. You can sit directly on the floor in the middle of your mat. We're going to work on boat pose. Sit up nice and tall, hold the back of your legs, and feel your shoulders glide down the back. Lean back until you find that balance point and lift your feet up as high as you can. Engage your core and reach forward through the arms. Good. Keep lifting through the spine and the chest. One more breath in. And exhale, put the feet down. Now let's open the knees, bring the feet together toward your hips for seated down angle pose. Take a deep breath in and lift tall and exhale, fold forward, using the elbows to help gently nudge the knees apart. to boat again, so lift yourself up, close the knees and hold the back of your thighs sitting up tall. Lean back just until you find your balance point and lift your feet. Good, keep the core strong and let go, reaching forward through the arms. Deep breath the whole time. One more breath in, and exhale, release. Good, again, open the knees out to the sides, bring the, sole, bring the soles of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, and exhale, fold forward, down angle. Take both one final time. Inhale, lift up, close your knees and hold the back of your thighs. Sit tall and find your balance point and raise the feet. Good, strong through the core, let go, extending the arms. One more breath in, and exhale, release. Good, this time separate your feet as wide as your mat. Lean your hands behind you and put your hands on the floor and drop the knees side to side like windshield wipers. The next time that your knees go to the right side of your mat, let them stay down there. Come off of your left hand and twist to the back of the mat, separating your hands apart, pressing against the floor to rotate. Really feel your left thigh bone turn in as you press that knee into the floor. Good. One more breath in. And exhale, unwind the twist, taking that hand behind you. Pick the knees up and drop them to the left. Come off of your right hand, twisting to the back of your mat. Good, pressing against the floor to rotate and pushing the right knee down into the mat, turning that thigh bone in. One more breath in and exhale, unwind. Good, bring the legs together and hold the back of your thighs. Roll yourself down to the ground, one vertebra at a time. Good, once you're on your back, bend your knees a bit more, bring the heels close to your hips. Lay your arms down by your sides and get your shoulder blades closer together under your back. We're gonna come into bridge pose. When you're ready, press against your feet, hands, and forearms, lifting the hips and the spine. Deep, expansive breath.
One more breath in. And exhale, roll down. Good. Separate your shoulders and take a few breaths to relax. And we'll come into this two more times. So gather your shoulder blades closer together and lift up into your second bridge. If you'd like, you can clasp the hands together under your back. Maybe adjust the shoulders a little closer. Really lifting the ribs, getting that arch into the upper back. One more breath in, and exhale, release, separating the arms and shoulders, taking a few breaths to rest. And last time when you're ready, you can also do wheel pose if you like and you're really comfortable with wheel, or you can just do a third bridge pose. So wherever you're going, set yourself up, lifting into bridge or into wheel, taking at least five breaths. Slide your left leg down on the mat and bring your right knee to the chest. You're going to hug the hands around the knee or the shin, just gradually letting that leg move toward you as you exhale. And then move the knee away from your upper body a little bit and then cross it over for a reclined twist. You can float the right arm out to the side to counter the leg. And you can give yourself a little adjustment by sliding your bottom hip over to the right side of your mat a little bit. You can close the eyes if you like and just let your body melt into this shape. And then put some space between your ribs and the bent knee, and then cross it over your pelvis for the twist. Left arm's going to float out to counter the leg. You can 
adjust your bottom hip to the left side of your mat a little bit. Nice deep rotation in the lumbar. A slow deep breath.
slowly bring your attention back to your breath and take a few deeper breaths as you start to move a little bit through the fingers and the toes. And in your own time, pull over to one side of your body, curling up into a fetal pose. And just pausing there briefly to notice how you feel. And come up whenever you feel ready, finding a comfortable seat with the eyes still closed. Keeping that focus inward. Once you're sitting, just observe the movement of your breath again. Feel your spine gradually get taller. And we'll join the palms together in front of the heart and end chanting OM one time. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Exhale and gently bow your head, acknowledging yourself for making time and space to practice today and expressing gratitude to your body. And thank you so much for being here this morning. Hope that you enjoyed this class. Have a wonderful, peaceful day. I hope to see you again.